tonight. Again, with more details on what we're expecting for the rest of this evening, I'll send it back over to Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrocka. Hi, Brittany. Thank you. Yeah, we're noticing that now with the temperatures, as you mentioned, dropping and starting to see a little bit more in the way of slush on the roads, whereas a few hours ago it was just wet without slush. So bottom line, not a lot of snow, obviously, but just enough to make things slick. So be careful as we uh, take a peek at, uh, well, down in North Situate, up in North Situate, 32 right now. This is the intersection of 101 and 102, starting to get slush covered. Uh, reports now in, in this area about an inch, inch and a half of snow. I just got a report in, of Foster now with 2.1. So it's not out of the question now. The snow's going to be wrapping up by 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, the latest. Like Foster, Barville, where you've got two right now, you could pick up isolated three-inch amounts. It's more the exception rather than the rule. Statewide, uh, the amounts are going to be less, and we'll show you that in just a second. Now, this is New Bedford where you've had some trace amounts of snow. It's 34, so you see the rooftop here and uh, this uh, walkway, this deck. Uh, looking at uh, some footprints and some traces of snow there, so not as much along the south shore. In Newport, it's been a kind of a combination of some rain and some wet snow, but you can barely see it, but the rooftop's covered with some thin, slushy coatings. But temperatures falling below freezing. Here is the freezing line, so obviously there's a lot of slush and wet surfaces out there, so anything untreated would ice up, so do be careful this evening. Even when the snow stops at around 9, 10 o'clock, still watch for icy conditions beyond that, but we'll keep our threat tracker elevated for tonight. Back on track with some sunshine and milder temperatures by a Thursday afternoon. The blue on Doppler radar represents wet snow. The green is at times a little bit of rain mixing in on the south shore, but it's transitioning even there to some wet snow. The back edge of the precipitation is right in here, and this is one reason why we don't anticipate this to spill over into the entire night. This is tracking off to the east, and it should be shutting down between around 9 and 10 o'clock in the evening. Look at the drier air and the clear skies off to our west, and that'll be coming in later on this evening. So when we take this into the future, there it is and there it goes by, I would say, 10 o'clock the latest. You see drier air and clearing overnight sets up for a pretty decent Thursday, especially during the afternoon. We'll get temperatures up to about 45 to 50. So whatever snow is on the ground by tomorrow morning, there won't be much, but that'll be melting. So we start off at 7 o'clock this evening, still dealing with the snow and a little bit of rain mixing in on the south shore, but watch how rapidly it pulls away by around 10 o'clock. Midnight, some partial clearing, but temperatures are below freezing. Watch for these icy and slushy conditions tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., upper 20s to lower 30s. It's essentially a partly sunny sky tomorrow afternoon. Very pleasant temperatures, if anything, running a little above average in the uh, mid to upper 40s. And then tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, we're cool and dry. By 11 o'clock, temperature down to about 32 tomorrow night. So wet snow at times coming down in a pretty good clip for another two to three hours, shutting down by 10 o'clock the latest, and then clearing overnight, dropping to the upper 20s and icy by early tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So do watch for icy areas early below freezing, but with some sunshine. 11 a.m. we're well above freezing and we're way in the 40s, maybe briefly near 50 in some spots tomorrow afternoon with a blend of fair weather clouds and sunshine. So generally along the coastline a coating to an inch inland a uh, one to two inches and the exception up in the Foster Gloucester area Boroughville right up in here an isolated three inch amount and we're starting to see the roads getting slush covered in uh, the northern areas where it's a little colder. All right, beautiful for Thursday, especially in the afternoon. Friday, not bad. The concern for a storm on Saturday, but not snow, but rather rain and even more of a concern is actually strong wind gusts on Saturday. Stay tuned. Windy, cold, and drier on Sunday with temperatures only uh, in the 30s. Temperatures dropping, roads are getting slushy, things are icing up, so be careful. Okay, so the snow is going to melt away then. Tomorrow degrees. afternoon, I would say not all of it, but most of it, so at least heading in the right direction. All right, yeah. Thanks, Tony. Coming up tonight at